Hello, my wonderful students. Um, this is a continuation of section 3.3. For this video, we are going to start with the quotient rule. So the quotient rule states that, let's start with let u and v be two distinct functions of x. So what if you have the quotient u divided by b, right? Two functions dividing one another. And you want to go in and take the derivative with respect to x. Then the rule sets it's going to be u prime times v minus v prime times u all over v squared. This is, again, just like the product. You have to know this really well, okay? Then let's go and start example seven with us on this one. So as you can see, example seven has this right here, right? No, it's not the same. It's just doing the derivative at the top divided by the derivative at the bottom. You have to follow the quotient rule. So what you need to do is let u and v, okay? So I'm not, since I have space above, it looks like my formatting is a little bit off here. So let u be x squared plus 5x minus 1, okay? Then we can do v over here. Let v be x squared minus 2. So with this, we can do u prime pretty quickly. That's 2x plus 5, okay? Then over here, we can do v prime pretty quickly. That's going to be 2x. And the derivative of negative 2, since that's a constant, that's just going to be 0. So based on that, let's do the derivative dy dx okay, of u times v. Why don't you go ahead and write the formula down for me? Hopefully you just copy the one above, so u prime times v minus v prime times u all over v squared. Now what you what you need to do to have this memorized is that every time you're doing your homework, write the formula down, okay? So let's just apply the formula. Here we go. u prime is this guy right here. So that's going to be 2x plus 5. v, regular v, is this guy right here. So that's going to be x squared minus 2. Subtract v prime is this guy right here. So that's 2x. My, I'm sorry, subtract v prime times u. u is now this thing right here. So that's a longer piece that I need space for. Okay. So that's just the numerator. Now we're just going to divide by v prime. Again, v prime is this guy. I'm sorry, not v prime. Oof, v square. That's going to be x squared minus 2. That's just v, and then I need to square that. So now I just have to slowly multiply this out, okay? So let's start this way down here. It looks like I need a lot of space. Um, 2x times x squared. So let's take 2x times x squared. That will give me 2x to the third. Then 2x times minus 2 is negative 4x, okay? Then we're going to take the 5. 5 times x squared is now going to be 5 x squared. 5 times negative 2 is now minus 10. So now that's my first set of multiplication. Subtract. Now let's do the other one, okay? I'm going to put that in parentheses and then this in parentheses because that way um, later I'm not going to, hopefully I'm not going to make silly mistakes on distribution. So that's going to be 2x times x squared is now 2x to the third. I will distribute the negative later. 2x times 5x is now 10x squared. 2x times minus 2 is now negative 2x all over x squared minus 2 squared. Okay, so keep on going. Now I will distribute the negative. So 2x to the third. I'm writing smaller because it looks like I need a lot of space. Um, 
minus 4x plus 5x squared minus 10. Now minus 2x to the third minus 10x squared plus 2x. All over my distribution, x squared minus 2 and then power 2. Okay, so let's see if things that are canceling. Those are canceling. Mm, let's combine like terms, okay? So this will lead me to think that I have a t negative 10x squared and a positive 5x squared, so that's going to be a negative 5x squared left. Then I have negative 4x and a positive 2x, so now I am going to end up with a po negative 2x. Um, then take, bring down my minus 10 all over x squared minus 2 squared, okay? So as you can see, this is as far as you can go. Um, so guess what? That is the final answer. That's the derivative of the quotient, okay? And this is the end of example 7.